Is it ready? Ready. No more stop oh, oops. Nope. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. Are you ready? She's ready. She's <laughs> ready. She's in character already. Inspection. I'm doing something cute. What for? For passenger. <laughs> She's my mom. Hi Carrie, start the show today. Right now we are filming. Filming. <laughs> Hey Gary! Hi! <laughs> Kerry and I play Harper Jones. Um, I thought this group was very interesting and I like the way there was more than one narrative running and you don't really know what's going to happen until the end. I thought it was very interesting. Oh, my eyes watering again. But she's crying. <laughs> <laughs> so I was drawn to the part of Harper because she seems quite complex. Um, you don't really know what she's thinking. She's a writer, which I thought was quite cool. And she's also a vegetarian, which is always good. There are many similarities between me and Harper, which I think is quite a good thing. It's quite fun to play because she's so different and I got to be someone else who's completely different from my personality. Scene 23, take 5. I like how this film explores LGBT themes and characters and that it doesn't really conform to stereotypes. Um, so that was something else that drew me towards the project. But yeah, we just took the day past few car problems. There's a dog barking, there's a dog pooing. But I think we've got past that now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's all okay. And I'm pretty yeah. sure I'm excited for the edit. I think the edit's going to be amazing. Are you ready? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> So. Yeah. Did you get that wonderful face? I just thought. I don't know. Did you just walk away? Probably. <laughs> oh, probably. Yeah. Scene 21, take 8. Didn't knock. And let's go see what Rachel Everett is doing. Oh, here she yes. is. She's I just feel like something bad's going to happen. I just feel like something bad's about to happen. Honestly, babe, you're fine. You're dealing with a lot of stress from uni, but that's all. That's all. That's all. <laughs> Girlfriend, why you speak like this? <laughs> You're just stressed from uni. Come on, you're fine. Y are you sure someone's actually out to get you, or is that all the dark ma material you love writing about finally having its way with you? Ha <laughs> ha! Someone really out to get you. 
Is that not just some of the dark material you like writing about finally having its way with you? <laughs> it's not <laughs> funny. Oh, look at the best, look at the best. One, let's go. And cut. So that's it for day two. Bye! See you on day three! When Amy's with us. <laughs> that's a wrap! Bye! Bye! One more time. Hi, I'm Amy Feely and I play Morgan. What I liked about the script was, I think the first thing was how little dialogue was in it. I think you can show a lot with sort of hardly any dialogue, like often it's overused um, when it doesn't need to be. And then just the characters were really interesting and they're, and they're different. Um, so that sort of drew me as well. And also I hadn't I hadn't read a script like that in, if ever, you know, in, if not, not in a long time. <laughs> She's here! Um, I think what drew me to the part of Morgan was that she, for me, she represents um, sort of people de people's desire that they don't act on um, and I thought it was really interesting that she she acts on a desire she doesn't kind of repress it um, even though she, she might think that it's something that isn't right necessarily she doesn't sort of bury it like a lot of people do like personally I've been through things that are similar to Morgan in, in terms of you know like uh, sort of being betrayed I guess you would say so it was it was quite nice to sort of have something to draw on, I guess. Rolling. I find it quite hard to find things I dislike about a character because I think as an actor, if you find things that you dislike, um, quite often that's sort of casted a judgment on them. And I think as an actor, it's your job to find the humanity in them and find the empathy. <laughs> I think it's a really important area to cover and it's not covered enough. I feel like it's not a stereotypical LGBT film, you know, it's just it's just a story of two people and whether they're the same gender or the different gender, it makes no difference to me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> that's a I'm like a creep at the back.